This is the Transformers Generations Select War for Cybertron Trilogy Galactic Odyssey Collection Paradron Medics. Uh, it's a shame you can't really see if you got what you really wanted to get. Uh, these new Generation Select figures are in dire need of some new marketing labeling. Uh, I just wish, you know, because there are a lot of stores here in Asia already selling these, not online, but on store shelves. And it's not an attractive packaging. And I just wish they would put like a, like a printout or the picture of what's inside because sometimes even the staff of the store, if you go and ask them what's in this, they have no clue what it, what's inside. Luckily for us fans, we already know what's inside and hopefully we get what it is. I picked the set up from Hobby Corner. Let's see what we have. Oh yeah, all right. We've got the Earthrise version of Ratchet and Lifeline. Did I get that right? And you get a map right here and you don't need the red film to see what's actually on there. Looking great. You got the instruction sheet. Got the warranty card and what is this? The map card? Oh, okay. Oh, it's um, it's some uh, data and information about the planet. And here are Ratchet and Lifeline out of packaging, and both figures look absolutely amazing. I cannot be more pleased with these figures. And despite what I've seen on the internet and some Photoshop images, some early reviews. I initially thought they would just be flat out bland. They are absolutely dynamic. And both figures just pop. And if you're very familiar with these figures, especially for G1, Ratchet, he is a welcome addition to any Autobot team. Lifeline, on the other hand, is somebody who is new to me. Um, not particularly familiar with all the female Autobots on Cybertron. I know the major one, the major characters, Alita One, RC, definitely Chromia, um, but uh, Lifeline is right there with green light for me. I'm not entirely sure, not entirely familiar with this character, but he she turned out great. Okay, let's start with this figure. Now, Lifeline is a direct repaint or retool of the previously released. Earthrise Deluxe Class RC. I'll bring her out together with Lethal One a little later in the review. Let's just talk about this figure for a moment. I think the paint apps came out great. We've already seen how this mold is. I mean, there's nothing new. They didn't change anything. Um, if at all, some of the joints are tighter and some of the joints are more loose or looser than the previously released RC, but everything seems to be the same. She still comes with this backpack, which doubles as a uh, hoverboard. Uh, we're not gonna, <laughs> not really gonna do that too much because I'm not interested in this as a hoverboard. Uh, it is part of the rear section of the car and you can snap it on uh, on the back on the backpack on her other backpack like this wait let me just okay and the figure just came out great look at this paint apps the face with that periwinkle face white molded plastic for the helmet eyes nicely painted cobalt blue and some pink lipstick autobot logo right there and she's got this i don't know pistachio not pistachio but mint green paint apps on her chest on her pelvis some inconsistencies here and there but nothing to worry about nothing too big as to complain too much about this uh the paint apps are a little darker than the mint green plastic that they use, but it works well. It just blends nicely. Where the paint apps for RC were on that figure is exactly the same paint apps we get for this figure. One comment though on the backpack, on my copy of the figure, it doesn't tab in as nicely as I wanted to. This tab here on her left shoulder is fine, but the one on her right, is difficulty tabbing in i don't know why but other than that the paint apps are spectacular the I... gun is obviously still in this clear 
plastic that they use translucent plastic same plastic they use for the windshield and this crest in the alt mode articulation for the figure is still the same uh, no mold degradation not as much as i thought there would be uh, waist swivel a little bit loose but everything seems to be they're not super tight but the joints seem to be okay so as we progress along the War for Cybertron trilogy and as Hasbro keeps repainting this mold, I'm pretty sure the joints will start loosening up a bit. But for this, <laughs> I jinxed it. But as for this figure, uh, looks okay. And here is Lifeline together with RC and Alita 1. You can clearly see the differences between Alita 1 and the similarities of this figure with RC. It's a direct repaint. I kind of wish now that they... They could have given us a brand new head sculpt, just slightly different, slightly little bit of some difference other than paint apps with the RC head sculpt, maybe a different kind of crest, maybe a different kind of ears, but Hasbro decided to just go off and do a straight up repaint. I don't see any differences in robot mode and we'll probably be seeing the same result in car mode. It's going to be exactly the same as RC, just done in white and mint green. Even the Autobot logo and position, where it's positioned is exactly the same. So let's transform lifeline into her alt mode before we do that uh people have pointed out that yes back in my rc review and alita one review the peg here on the gun uh, actually goes somewhere and it doesn't go here people have saying we're saying that yeah in alt mode it can also go here but that's i don't know it's pretty loose on mine i mean it, sure you can keep it that way but uh, you run the you run the risk of just that thing falling off but somebody had mentioned that it does peg into her buttocks right there which actually is pretty cool so she can draw her weapon like by reaching like uh like from behind like all right megatron and then she can just go ahead and grab it from behind her and then she just go like that kind of makes sense but uh, yeah, it is possible to do that. So to transform Lifeline, we're gonna cheat a little bit. Uh, if, you, if you're a parent, you're trying to help your kid uh, transform RC or Lifeline, go check out my RC review. It's all there, how I detail the nuances, the nitty gritty of how to transform uh, Lifeline. But for this purpose of this review, we're trying to do it as, uh, efficiently as possible. See, all the joints are still tight. Yep. Just position it this way and then this. Okay. I hope the panels tab in uh, nicely or nicer in this uh, with, with this figure and compared to the previous figures of RC and Alita 1. So we'll see. Hold on. Let me just make sure we're doing it right. Okay. So just plug this in back right here. Okay. And then, okay. There we go. And then just fold everything down. Okay. Looking good. And the arms are gonna stay here, here, okay. All right, and the legs, let me see if I can still, if I still know how to transform this so that they're flush and they don't scrape the ground. Okay, yeah, this one's okay, but this one's not cooperating. Okay, there we go. And then the panels, okay, hook them up. Ah, same issue, man. It's really an issue with the mold. Okay, yep, it really is an issue with the mold. The panels just don't line up properly. I mean, they are re-releasing RC in the Kingdom line. I do hope that they kind of fix this so that you don't have to struggle just lining up those panels and whatnot. Okay, and then what's left is, let me just see if it goes, oh, it's still scraping. 
right here. Sorry, my bad. Okay, how about that? And voila! Voila! Look at that. Rolls beautifully. And the gun can stay right here. So, love. I'm loving this mint green uh, on her. Some nice white paint apps, Autobot logo, more white paint apps, gray paint apps, clear plastic that they use for the crest and the windshield as well as the gun, clear wheels. Uh, yeah, hardly anything to complain about. I like, I love the RC mold in this one, just equally as nice. So very, very cool. And here is Lifeline together with the alt modes of Elita One and RC. They look absolutely great together. Really nice to have these female Autobots. And maybe just for fun, let's add in Chromia. This really doesn't look anything like them in alt mode. But they look great. And now on to Ratchet. He is obviously a redeco of Earthrise Ironhide. They share the same body mold, same weapons, and they've got a just a difference in head sculpt and obviously in paint scheme and colors of the plastic molded, uh, the pieces are molded from. And in fact, I did notice that for Ratchet, the plastic is not as flimsy as the one they used for Iron Ironhide. I don't know why. Uh, the Ironhide kind of looks cheap. Even though it's not, I don't think it is, but it just feels like it's cheap based on the muted type of red plastic that they used. For this figure, they used... I think a premium type of plastic, of white plastic for most of the pieces. That's why it feels premium. It looks premium. Even the paint that they used uh, for the windshield, which is this chest, uh, the chest piece right here. It's a nice glossy white, uh, and not like, an, I don't know if it's enamel, but it's a white glossy finish type of paint apps and it looks amazing and i personally think that this mold was meant for ratchet instead of ironhide i don't know it's probably meant for both of them since they're both repaints but the plastic that they used is just spot on incredible and i don't know if you can see it you can see that gloss that really nice gloss the only thing is missing is a little bit of flake and a little bit a hint of metallic um a sheen to it but you don't really need that for an ambulance right it's a great great figure just lovely so much fun to look at and it's going to be fun to transform i bet so uh in terms of mold degradation i don't feel there's too much the joints seem pretty tight not super tight but tight enough to hold some poses when i was removing the figure from the packaging these ankle joints ankle rockers love to pop off because they're on friction joints friction hinge joints so be wary of that but overall the figure looks absolutely fantastic now also the difference they have is with the weapon ironhide's weapon has been painted silver molded in this dark gray almost black plastic ratchets on the other hand is just molded white plastic i don't know why they didn't paint it they could have painted it silver as well or maybe red but given that he is a medical robot a medical officer this kind of feels because it's just all white kind of feels more like a medical tool instead of a weapon however it should have been a weapon uh let me just get the shield of ironhide you can clearly see that They've stuck on the light bar, which we've seen from Prowl. Um, not, not Earthrise Prowl, but Siege Prowl or uh, Red Alert. Very similar in design, but it feels... Yeah, it feels like they just super glued it on to that roof. Autobot logo right there looks a lot nicer uh, on the Ratchet figure than on Ironhide. Take nothing away from Ironhide. You can clearly see how nice this plastic is, but compared to Ratchet, it looks... It kind of looks cheap uh, if you put it side by side with Ratchet. Okay. Very nice. Even the way the exhaust or guns have been painted white. Look at that. White and silver. I love this clear plastic that they used here. I'm glad it's not the same clear white plastic. It's sort of a 
has a blue tinted uh, plastic, very, very close to how he looked in the G1 continuity. So let's transform Ratchet. It's going to be the same as Ironhide. So if you are a parent watching this film and you're interested to know how he transforms, he transforms exactly like Ironhide. If you want a slower version of how to do it, go check out my Ironhide review. Okay, fair warning. Let's, uh, let's just get this on. Okay. Keep that there. Okay. Then transform ratchet. Okay. And together right here. Okay. Like that. Detach. Fold up. Later. Fold up and rotate. And even the way these panels tab into Ratchet, it's much nicer. They tab in nicer than Ironhide, much tight, tighter than Ironhide's. Don't know why, but uh, maybe, maybe this Ratchet figure was the alpha version. Ironhide was the beta version. I don't know, but come on. Okay. All right. Even the way you listen to how the tabs click feels tighter on Ratchet. Okay. All right. Last bit is the roof. All right. And there is ratchet in his cherry nissan cherry vanette uh alt mode as an ambulance or first aid responder or first responder for emergency services and the one thing i did forget to discuss in my ironhide review which everyone has pointed out is how just obvious this the feet are sticking out at the back end of the vehicle mode and i not entirely sure how Hasbro could have remedied this because they just patterned it off of the Siege version of this mold and this these this is his feet and if you try to make it smooth he would just wobble in robot mode so I'm not entirely sure how they could have fixed this maybe there was a way to just add more panels maybe just a way to turn around it I don't know but yes it is quite obvious but it's to me it wasn't such a big deal a lot of collectors were really turned off with this back end of the car mode but for me i thought it was okay so figure still rolls very nicely in alt mode and here are ratchet and ironhide both in their alt modes and yes though these feet do stick up i always kind of felt they were booster rockets just to help them ignite and travel faster optimus we're coming I felt that way, but it is a, uh, yes, it's it's an eyesore for a lot of collectors, but doesn't bug me as much. I don't know. But yeah, it looks great. Look at that. It is Ratchet. And so some final thoughts on this two-pack Generation Selects exclusive uh, figure set from Hasbro and Takara Tomi. I think it's an amazing set. The set is going to get a 10 out of 10 for me, simply because I just needed this ratchet so badly. And the only thing that sucks about this set is that it is an exclusive. Yet again, I think Hasbro should stop making exclusives out of the major characters, such as Ratchet from the G1 continuity. I mean, sure, they probably don't think it's a major character in the War for Cybertron trilogy shows in mythology, but for the fans of the Transformers, you cannot put characters like Ironhide, RC, uh, Elita One, and, and Ratchet as exclusives, store exclusives, online exclusives, website exclusives. I mean, th that's just simply ridiculous and you are alienating alienating a lot of collectors who find it very difficult to get exclusives in their part of the world. So Hasbro, please, I'm no longer complaining. I don't wanna complain about these store exclusives. I'm just hoping that you'd listen to the fans and stop this nonsense in the coming year. For uh, when you do think about making uh, generations uh, figures, 
please don't put major characters as store exclusives. And with that, I'd like to thank everybody for joining me in this review. Let me know in the comment section what you think of these two. Is it something you absolutely must have or are you gonna wait for Hasbro to re-release Ratchet? Is it a pass? Is it a buy on site or buy at all cost? Let me know what you think of Lifeline and Ratchet. Hit me up in the comment section and as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. And if you want to help the channel out, help me make more video reviews, please check out my Patreon account. There is a link in the description box below. Any form of contribution will be greatly appreciated. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you so much for staying till the very end of the video. It really helps us with YouTube's algorithms and the viewership of the video. And uh, lest I forget, here are both the Earthrise and the Siege version of Autobot Ratchet. The Siege version really does have its merits, uh, but personally, I do prefer the Earthrise, obviously, because it harkens so much back. It harkens so much to the G1 universe, to the old G1 cartoon. There's so much nostalgia about it, but the white plastic, the white color, white and red colors of the Siege uh, version actually are a lot prettier. I think they're more appealing to me uh, versus the uh, hospital white <laughs> of the uh, Earthrise. Although, you know, overall I still prefer this, but it's really becoming difficult uh, to figure out what to do with the Siege uh, versions now that I have both Earthrise versions of Ironhide and Ratchet. And here they both are in robot mode. They really look great. Both look great. Uh, clearly cut from the same type of mold and engineering, but different in their own ways. And you can clearly see how more vibrant and I think it's better in, in, in a lot of ways, the color scheme, the kind of plastic they used for the Siege version. And then again, you get the more G1 accurate, more nostalgic, uh, Earthrise version. So both figures really, really are amazing. And I'm probably going to keep, I'm still going to keep the Siege versions of Ironhide and Ratchet, considering the fact that they are, they were very difficult to come by. And uh, again, what's really, what really sucks about these two figures is both of them are exclusives. I don't know what it is with Ratchet, with Hasbro and Takaratomi. This one was a Walgreens exclusive. This is a Generation Selects exclusive. I mean, I wish some, sometimes I wish, you know, and I'm hoping next year Hasbro would cut collectors a break and just do away with these store exclusives for major characters.